Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is on hydrology and we're going to discuss river discharge, what it is and how to calculate it. This is the Earth Science Classroom. In hydrology, the study of rivers and streams is vitally important. And one part of this is to calculate the river's discharge, which means the amount of water or the volume of water flowing within a channel, a stream or river channel, at a certain time past a certain point or location along that river system. It could be in the upper course, middle course, or lower course, but you're basically calculating how much water is flowing within the river at that point in time at that location. The first step to calculate discharge of a river is to calculate the velocity or speed of the flowing water within the river. We can measure the speed or velocity of the river using two main types. The first is a flow meter, a device you can lower into the river at any point or location, and it will take accurate measurements of the speed or flow of that river. The next is a more crude method where you put two markers that are 10 meters apart, and you have a float, something that's gonna float on the surface, you can easily see, and it's gonna basically traverse itself from one marker down the other marker with a 10 meter distance and you basically record the time and then from that distance and time you can calculate the speed or velocity and from that calculation or gathering the info on velocity we can infer various characteristics about the river such as the channel gradient the amount of precip in the water system and watershed the soil type the amount or volume of water in the surface runoff again we can relate this to the river's hydrograph and get a better more clearer picture on what is happening within this river system the next step for discharge is to calculate a river's cross-sectional area the river's cross-sectional area is calculated by times in the width by the depth now you can use the average width of the channel and the average depth which is generally going to be the deepest part which is called the Thalweg and this is basically going to show you the line or the area of the deepest part of the river which also corresponds to the fastest part of the flowing water in terms of velocity but the average measurements will be fine again based on your river and how difficult it is to get a more accurate measurement so the average would suffice. In contrast, you can become more scientific, precise, and accurate with your measurements of this cross-sectional area by having an exact measurement of a channel width between two points, A and B, on either side of the channel. And then for the depth, you would not have an average, but you would take the entire profile of the channel and divide it into subdivisions or subsections in order to get a more accurate area of each individual subdivision and then add those up to get a cumulative depth of that whole channel and again with that measured width it would give you a more accurate cross-sectional area in conclusion a river's discharge is calculated by the cross-sectional area times velocity and this number this value of flowing water through a channel would just add to the different characteristics to help understand this river system in more detail this is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you want more content and videos on Earth Science, please check out my channel.